Hi Floss Tube. This is Kristen, also known as Cow Stitcher on Instagram. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Uh, this is my channel. It's all about cross stitch. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that liked my video and commented and messaged me and everything. It was so awesome. I wasn't expecting that many people to watch me and also leave really nice comments. I really appreciate it and I appreciate all the nice things that everyone said to me. Um, so, little life update. Um, we're all surviving. We have lots of toilet paper. <laughs> um, we, my kids are all, all home from school for at least two weeks, so they got two weeks worth of schoolwork. So every day we've been getting up and doing their schoolwork and then going for a walk and playing outside and doing as much fun stuff outside that we can because it's actually really nice here in Virginia. It's in the 60s today, so uh, we're in really enjoying this nice weather. So it's just been crazy having all the kids home and trying to squeeze in schoolwork on top of everything else that I have going on with the kids. So um, yeah, it's been crazy. So I've been trying to cross stitch to keep myself sane. <laughs> so um, also some people asked about my dogs. Um, we have two pit bulls and we have adopted both of them. Um, we believe in rescuing and adopting rather than uh, buying. So um, we have had Batman. He is, we got him when he was one and a half and he is now almost seven. Um, and he's a big baby. They're both big babies. Um, so I don't know if you've heard anything bad about the breed, but it all depends on how you raise them. So that's what we believe. And we will always, always rescue pit bulls, always. Um, and then Oreo, she is six months old and we got her when she was like a month and a half or so. Um, and later in the video, if they will come over to me, I'll see if I can get them in the shot because some people want to see them. So we'll see. But um, anyway, so let's get to cross stitch. So I'm going to start previous finishes. So here's a previous finish that I have. This is called Stretch Those Legs by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. So I finished this as a cube. I use this cute little egg uh, fabric that I got at Joann's. And this is how they finish theirs. I found the, the ears from Michael's last year and it's kind of hard to see in the camera, but but I think this is so cute and it was really quick. I think I stitched this in like two days. But I love the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. They have these really cute seasonal like sayings and they're, I love them. So that's how I finished that one. That was the last year I did that one. And then I did, this is called Bunny's Garden by Waxing Moon Designs. And I stitched this on 28 count tea coffee dyed Monaco. And I stitched, I think, all the called for colors on this one. Um, this is definitely a really old pattern by Waxing Moon Designs. But I finished it on this clipboard frame from Hobby Lobby with just magnets and washers. And I stuck this little, see, it falls out, little carrot pick in there. Because um, I wasn't sure how else to attach it. But I think it looks good. I like it. <laughs> so I did the patriotic version of this series also and and the Christmas one and the only one I have left to do is the um, the Halloween one but I love these they're so cute and then I this is one of my most favorite pieces this is a basket full of spring by with thy needle and thread I love this so much and I use Priscilla's color changes because the, the spring banner was supposed to be purple and I think it, I think I used crab cakes if I can remember correctly. But I got this frame at Hobby Lobby. This is also stitched on 28 count tea coffee dyed Monaco. And I used Priscilla's color changes, like I said. So, um, and then I mounted it on sticky board and I put this pinky color fabric behind it because I thought it matched really well with the spring banner. And then I got these picks from AC Moore, and then it's on there with a magnet and metal. So I love this so much. Oh my goodness. 
Usually it stays on pretty good. <laughs> so, oh, and this frame is from Hobby Lobby too. This little easel frame. I got this last year. It's in the unfinished wood section of Hobby Lobby. And then another previous finish is Spring Has Sprung by Country Cottage Needleworks. So I also used Priscilla's color changes for this one. And I finished it on a vintage cupcake pin, or uh, tin, I mean, that I got off of uh, eBay. And I finished a couple of other pieces on here too. So I love this so much. I got the little bunny from AC Moore. I'm so sad AC Moore's closing, but I love this so much. And now this is this was also stitched on 28 count tea coffee dyed Monaco, and I backed it with some uh, buffalo check fabric. So, and I think I got this bow from or the ribbon from Joann's. So, love that. And then. Another one that I did was this, um, what is this called? Um, it's by With Thy Needle and Thread. Oh, oh, it's the Easter Holiday Hoopla. I think that's what it's called. Um, I, I remember this came out at market last year and I stitched it right away and it took me like really like only like one night. So I love this so much. I finished it's also on tea coffee dyed Monaco with the blue gingham behind it. And then, um, so I finished it a little differently. A lot of people put theirs on the inside of these little, these are like little drawer pulls from Hobby Lobby, but I thought it was easier to do it on the other side of it. So I stick it on there with a magnet and um, then I just kind of shove the egg, the egg pick in there. I thought it was cute so that's really cute and then so let's see so I had a couple oh fully finished things this week that I didn't post on Instagram until I, I was I wanted to make my video first so I finished my spring whirly gig I love it so much and I used Priscilla's color changes for this one too um, and I finished it on this uh, grape, I think it's called a grape bucket. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's from Hobby Lobby in the galvanized section. So, and then I just did a ruffle buffalo check around it. And then I glued just a little orange gingham ribbon there to tie it on the edges. So it's so cute. And I just sit it on my table like that and I love it. And then I finished my, my small hip hop chalk full onto the bucket from Hobby Lobby. And I just used the orange pom-pom trim around it. And then I made a buffalo check bow with a little carrot that I got from Michael's. And it's so cute, I love it so much. And I also finished the big piece from the Chalk Full series, the Hip Hop Chalk Full. So I, finished I, I stitched it on and also the small one it's just black 28 count linen that I got from um, a store uh, stitch by stitch in Cape May New Jersey we go to the shore every summer and uh, my, my stepdad has a house in CIL City New Jersey so we go to Cape May and go to that store every single summer so um, I got a big piece of that fabric and have been stitching all the jars on it so Here's that, and I just backed it with some black check, and um, I got the bunny from Hobby Lobby, and I think I got, I also got the um, ribbons from Hobby Lobby too, so I love that so much. I love this series so much. I've done all of them. Okay, those are my FFOs, and I have some regular, or I have one regular finish. I finished the Spring Tulips by Priscilla and Chelsea. I love this so much. I was dying for it to come out. And for some reason, in the cover photo, it showed the chickens with the little flowers on them. But then on the pattern, it didn't have the flowers. So 
I ordered the digital version of the magazine the that it came in so I was able to like zoom in on the picture and figure out how to stitch the flowers because I thought they were so cute and I thought the chickens looked a little bit naked without them so there's that and there are the flowers on the chickens I think they're so cute and I just lo I love this pattern so much so I'm so glad it's done I think I know how I'm gonna finish it I bought <clears throat> an unfinished wood tray from Hobby Lobby, and I think I'm gonna stain this and put it in there. Hopefully it'll look good. I have to see if it'll be big enough for this, but I love that. I have another one of these that I used for my um, Liberty Lane by Country Cottage Needleworks that I put, I put that in, in the, my other one, and it is really cute. If you go on my Instagram and go back a little bit, you can see that finish. Alrighty, so let's do whips. So I really only have one whip right now because I finished those couple of things and I haven't really had time to do much. I'm more of a one piece at a time person unless there's something that I really, really like to do. So I typically start something and finish it. I'm, I'm not really one to do like the different days of the week or anything like that because I feel like I don't have enough time to stitch that if I did that, I wouldn't get anything done. <laughs> so, um, so I'm doing the spring, the seasons in chalk art spring. Where's my magazine? I'm not sure where I put my magazine. I oh, here it is, under my, under my notes. So Seasons in Chalk Art Spring. This is by Hands on Design and Priscilla. I love all these, I wanna do all of them. So this is what I have done so far. Hopefully you can see that okay. I just finished the bunny and I'm working on the flowers up here. And I'm gonna come down and finish that, hopefully. I like to stitch all the chalk first because then I feel like the fun part's filling it all in. So, that's the only FFO, or only, my only whip, I mean, that I have. So I thought I would show you a couple of things that I have finished, but haven't fully finished, that I've had in my box. So this is Summer Garden by Shepherd's Bush. It's kind of folded there, but so hopefully you can see that. I love this and I have all of them and I have the buttons I need to add to, the, to this one. I finished this like, I don't know, three years ago. I really need to fully finish it. I'll probably do it this summer, hopefully. But I love these cute little, shep I love Shepherd's Bush. They're so, they have the cutest little patterns. And then this is another Shepherd's Bush, it's called Boo to you. My mom got this for me from Stitch by Stitch in Cape May and it came, so the, I believe the pattern was free and as long as you bought the button or something, but they had made a whole kit for you to stitch. So I stitched this like really quickly. It's so cute and little. But they, they have a lot of nice things at Stitch by Stitch. They have a lot of um, different Shepherd's Bush kits that you can buy like they have just the best stuff and they have so much stuff up on the walls that you can look at my lns is um dying to stitch in virginia beach um i love that store <laughs> and i went there for market day the other like last week and it was awesome but that's where i go for all my stuff it's about 45 minutes from me so i don't get to go as much as i would like but but it's awesome having that store near me um and then I finished this piece last summer. It took me forever because I had just had my son when it came out. And so having a newborn stitching doesn't really work out so well. <laughs> but this is Star Spangled Swine Farm by Hands On Design and Priscilla. So I just love this. Sorry, there was a little bit see-through, but um, I love this so much. It took me forever. <laughs> because it's so big. But it's stitched on a 28 count slate by Fabrics by Stephanie. 
I, I've stitched um, all this, all these series on the same fabric by Fabrics by Stephanie because I, I love her fabric. So I've only done the big piece for this one and I'm hoping to do the, the sign portion and then the red, white, and moo one. I love that so much. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that soon. I'm starting to get ready to switch to more patriotic stuff right now. I'm kind of over spring stitching. So, and then let's see what else. So we'll do haul. So I thought I would show you a project bag that I got. I got this from um, Dot Dot Goose Designs. I have only project bags from her just because, I don't know, I, I think they're really cute. And I haven't tried anyone else, but maybe I will, we'll see. But I love this so much. I, I have, I ordered this like a couple months ago and I just love it. So, um, and then for market day, I only got two patterns. Um, there were a bunch that I liked, but I have so much stuff that I don't know when I'm ever gonna stitch it. <laughs> I got uh, Souvenirs of the Heart by, um, and it's the Star Spangled Spectacular by With Thy Needle and Thread. I love this, so cute. I love, I love patriotic stuff. I decorate my whole house patriotic when, um, after spring and for the whole summer, it's always patriotic. And this is Spring Serenade by With Thy Needle and Thread. I love this so much. I might stitch this soon. We'll see if I have time. <laughs> and then, so, okay, I got a bunch of haul. I order a lot of stuff from Stash Unload or Stash Unloading. So um, that's where I get a lot of my stuff for really cheap. <laughs> so I got this Dear Santa, I've Been Good by Lizzie Kate. Love that. I got a Frozen Hot Chocolate Shop by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I got Popsicle Cart by Country Cottage Needleworks. I think I'm going to, I have a couple of these. I'm going to do them all um, just separately as ornaments because I don't like them as a big piece personally. And then I got this, it's called Oh Say by Shepherd's Bush. And it's just a really little cute, cute little one. I love it. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that soon. And I, for the first time ever, I think I might participate in Stitch Mania. I've always been overwhelmed by the thought of it, but I think it would be good for me to do and get a whole bunch of things started that I really wanna do. So I might make a separate video talking about my pieces that I wanna do for Stitch Mania, we'll see. So, um, and I also was able to get, um, I think it's Queen of Freedom by Mirabilia. I know a lot of people were talking about this going out of print, so I saw someone had it for sale and I snagged it as quickly as I could because I've always loved this pattern, but I never got it because Mirabilias are very hard to do and they're really big. So anyway, I just really wanted it, so I love that. And then... Um, my mom got me a whole bunch of stuff for Christmas, and I haven't stitched any of it yet, but I think I will start hopefully a couple of them soon. So I thought I would show you um, what she got me. So she got me Bless Our Land by Plum Street Samplers. I love that one. She got me A Country Winter by Plum Street. And... This is called Away We Go by Country Cottage Needleworks. I love that one. So cute. And she started me on the Snow Village series. She got me the Snowflake Stand. So, and she also got me a whole bunch of fabric to go with them. So I'm all set for the fabrics and stuff. And then she got me a whole bunch of <laughs> all the floss. So much floss. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So... It's really nice having a mom that also stitches and knows what you need for each thing. So, all right. Um, so I wanna talk about, I'm going to, I'm lucky enough to be able to attend the Love to Cross Stitch Retreat in Virginia with Priscilla and Chelsea at the end of April. And I'm so excited, I can't even tell you. 
I've only been to one retreat. It was the Floss Tubers of New Jersey retreat last summer. So this will be my second one ever. And I'm going by myself with no children for the whole weekend. And I'm staying in a hotel alone. And I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to be stitching all day, every day. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. So, um, and then in August, I'm going to the Floss Tube retreat again with my mom. So we're really excited for that too. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all your kind words and I really appreciate it. And um, if you would like my video and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And follow me on Instagram at cowstitcher. Um, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Um, let me see if I can get the dogs over here really quick. Batman, Oreo, what's this? You want a treat? Batman. Batman, you want a treat? What's this? Come here. You want a treat? Come here. Come here. You want a treat? They're both looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Come here, Batman. You want a treat? Come here. What's this? Come here. You want a treat? Come here. What's this? Oreo, you want a treat? Come here. Come here, Bat. What's this? Here he comes. My big baby what's this he's my big baby so I love him so much say hello look over here <laughs> come here Oreo and this is Oreo <laughs> my other big baby she's getting so big oh my gosh but this is her cute little face I love her too <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks guys i hope you have a great day and i hope that everyone stays safe with all the craziness that's going on all right we'll see you next time bye